ladies and gents, this is my review of the Samsung MG 23K 3575 AK 23 litre microwave with grill. So we'll start off, we'll take a quick look at the specs just in case any of you haven't seen it on the website. Obviously there's a little bit of the product overview there, it does come with a one year warranty. Uh, there's the dimensions there, it's the standard size of a microwave really. It weighs 15 kilos with packaging, 13 without. 23 litre capacity, it has an 800 watt microwave power and 1100 watt grill power. The grill is actually quite a handy feature, I'll uh, show you that in a little while. So we'll carry on and look for it. It does have auto defrost, it has an energy saving mode which just turns the clock off, so that's it's one of them. It's whether it'll actually save energy, I don't know. It has a keep warm function which is quite handy, obviously, you can. Once your bread's cooked or whatever you're doing in there, you can keep it warm until serving. Quick gander through the photos here. There's quite some quite good photos on AO.com today. Obviously, that's the front of it. It's the other side. That's where the vent holes are to keep it cool. And that's as you saw there. That was a heating element inside. So we'll go into my kitchen now. I'll try and show you it. Just a quick run through, really. So there are the buttons on the front, open the door up, it's a nice solid door, some microwaves feel a little bit cheap, as you can see you get the included rack inside. These are the auto features, if you do want to have a look at them, if you pause the video you will get a better look, but they are all listed within the manual itself, quick defrost and keep warm, hot or mild there. I've not found anything that's not going to fit in the microwave yet. So when I filmed this, my microwave was playing up, so I am recording this over. Uh, essentially you just turn the knob there to select your time once you've selected your option and press it and you should hear it's not too loud. One thing that does surprise me a little bit, I've always been taught since I was a kid not to put metal in the microwave, but this has a combination setting which uses microwave and grill and you're supposed to use that metal rack with it. So there, I was struggling to work out what the buttons do. Essentially, you press the microwave button, select your wattage, leave it a second or two, and then you can select your time. So what I'm going to do now is cook some bacon. It does say in the manual you've got to preheat your grill for three to four minutes. So there's a grill plus 30 seconds button. Every time you press that, it will add 30 seconds onto the time. Obviously, my poor turning away with that. So we've got the bacon in the grill now. We'll shut the door. And we'll set it going when I can work out the button. As you can see, there's a grill for 30 seconds. Right? Just what I'm pressing, press that several times. You can press the other button and set the wattage, but I don't want to do it that way. So essentially, I, I give them about 10 minutes. I did turn them over halfway through. Whether it was right or not, I'm not quite sure. That's dry cured bacon. I've never done dry cured bacon before, but essentially it was nice. So thanks for watching, there is a couple of other reviews on the AO website, take a look at them and uh, it's a recommended purchase.